What's up world, thank you for coming back to the channel. My name's Matt, and today the video I'm doing is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna take a look at my camera bag and all the stuff that I pack into it for photography and for filmmaking. So recently, I've kind of shifted gears, and I was doing a lot of street photography for a while, and I still wanna do that, um, but more and more lately, my job has become more video-centric, and so my camera bag has reflected that, because basically I'm trying to pack everything into a small kit that I can use for filmmaking and also photography if I need it. Uh, so bear with me, be patient. Uh, this channel may be changing a little bit, introducing some more uh, short films, some more video work that I'm doing. But for now, let's take a look at my camera bag. All right, so this is the bag. Um, just a pretty simple, like, not super expensive low pro camera bag that I picked up from Best Buy a while ago. Um, I've used other bags, but I always keep coming back to this one because it's really small and uh, just fits everything I need in it. So we'll start with the first set of zippers here. In this first compartment, I keep a uh, GoPro chest strap and then kind of just like charging cables and things like that. Just kind of extra miscellaneous thing. Um, this is actually the uh, follow focus setup for my gimbal. And then I also have this one really cool um, pixel RGB light that I can use for all kinds of stuff. Super bright. Uh, on the outside, I have a uh, just like a floaty handle for my GoPro when I do action stuff. And then I have this just uh, cheap little uh, miniature tripod kind of thing. I can use it for vlogging. I can set it on a table. Yeah, it's great. So when I open it up, here's what we have on the inside. I'm a fan of trying to cram as much in as I can and stack it all so it works very functionally for me. We'll start here in this first compartment. Charging bases. I have GoPro mounts an extra external audio recorder, mouth mount, tripod connections, kind of just anything miscellaneous that is small. This is kind of the main section where I have everything. To start with, I've got my Rode uh, Video Micro. Um, that just kind of lives right there. I have my Fujifilm XS10, and I keep the 18 to 55 kit lens on it. This is my main vlogging camera, and it's also my B camera for when I shoot interviews. I don't use it a ton for photography because I don't like the functionality for photography, but this works great for video, so it's a good vlogging camera. It's got the flippy screen, and it works great for a B camera setup for interviews. Next to that, I have my uh, DJI charging base station for my drone. It slides right in there. Over in this compartment, I have my controller for the drone. And then I have this little case right here, which I keep batteries in. So I've got a couple Fujifilm batteries, some GoPro batteries, and usually I will keep them here if they're fully charged, and then stick them in this other compartment over here when they're used. This little compartment here, I have a uh, case. This is actually a case for Westone in-ear monitors. I use it for SD cards waterproof so sometimes if I am going fishing or surfing or something like that and I need to throw a case of SD cards in my backpack um, this is nice because it keeps it waterproof right below that I've got a uh, another little case for filters and step rings um, my, most of my filters are on the lenses right now but yeah that's what that's for and underneath that is just kind of other circular things that can fit a hood lens caps etc dead center to try to keep it the most protected because I feel like it's the most fragile. I have my drone and my drone is a DJI Mini 2. I like this drone because it shoots in 4K and uh, it's 249 grams and you can pretty much fly anywhere with it. Although recently I found out you cannot fly at lighthouses in North Carolina. The state troopers kindly told me that I should have been arrested so that was fun. Next over, I keep my X-T3 right there. Um, so this is like my main camera, my go-to camera. Right now I've been keeping the Fujifilm 
27 millimeter f 2.8 lens on it it's their new pancake lens um, I'm keeping that on for just quick like pull the camera out boom I'm ready to take some pictures of family or whatever we're doing whether it's we're out and about and I'm doing street photography or we're just hanging out and I want some pictures of the kids that's right there that's my main photography camera and then it's also my main camera for uh, interviews if I'm if I'm doing like some filmmaking stuff so uh, b-roll if I'm trying to get slow motion any of that kind of stuff I'll pull this out usually throw it on the gimbal and go from there the last compartment is my GoPro on the top it's just a GoPro Hero 7 black um, I hope to Actually, I don't hope to. I ordered it this week. The GoPro Hero 9 is coming in the mail with the Max Mod for me, so I'm super excited about that. Right now, though, I've just got the GoPro Hero 7. I use this for uh, surfing, for fishing, for, you know, if I'm riding the skateboards with the family and I want to get B-roll with something that I can, you know, just trust that I won't break. And then right underneath that is my other Fujifilm lens that I have, which is the Viltrox. Uh, 33 millimeter 1.4 and this is my main portrait lens um, I really like it the low aperture the focal length is good it's kind of a 50 ish millimeter equivalent and um, yeah it works great I keep the hood right on there and that's it so as you can see I try to keep it very concise very simple this is a small bag I'm not trying to um, cram a laptop into here or anything like that this just goes on my back goes with me wherever I go as a family apart from that you know there's a couple things if I'm doing like a more extended shoot there's a few things that I'll take with me so a couple things I'll bring along for a shoot is uh, I have two of these just uh, newer really small um, LED lights which these are really cool. They have blinders on them. I bring two of those with the stands. If I'm doing an interview or something like that, I just throw these in with the stands in the back of the car. I'm good to go with lighting. The other thing I will bring along is my DJI Ronin SC. And I like this gimbal a lot. I uh, mainly like it because it's really small and I have the version that has the follow focus. So. Um, really helps for getting b-roll I've been doing a lot of interview shoots lately with b-roll to support what people are saying and this just helps a ton to smooth out everything especially because I have the X-T3 and uh, to get to get that high bit rate I want to use the X-T3 but uh, it doesn't have IBIS built in, so I have to use a gimbal for that. Sometimes if I'm just quick and on the fly and I just want quick B-roll at 8-bit, I'll use the XS10, but I usually prefer the X-T3 on this gimbal, and it looks really good. The last thing I'll show you is the tripod, which I'm actually currently on. Okay. Here we go. So this is the tripod I use. It's usually folded up, but... This is just a really inexpensive uh, Sunpack Travel Light Pro. And I like it because it expands a lot and it compresses down to a really small package. Uh, hold on, I'll show you. So it compresses way down, super cool. And I can easily just throw it onto the side of my backpack with the carrying handle. All right, so there you go. That's all I've got. Uh, pretty simple. Like I said, um, almost everything that I use fits right in that little low pro bag. I try to keep it small and compact and everything functional. Um, if I'm bringing the gimbal and lighting, it's only for like a staged interview kind of setup. So uh, usually, uh, unless I know that I'm doing a shoot and it's a planned thing, and all I bring is that backpack, which is the stuff in it. I've got my GoPro right there, a camera for taking pictures, and a camera for vlogging. All right there, set up, ready to go, as well as the drone for any kind of creamy aerial shots that I want to get. If you watched the last uh, video that I put out, we did a family vacation to the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And um, that's all I took was that bag with that stuff in it. Really simple setup. I rarely ever even have to change the lenses out. Um, and I really like that right now. 
obviously I want to get more lenses in the future um, but right now the kit lens the 27 for photography and then the 33 for portrait is really all I need and um, I'm really happy with it I can't wait to get the GoPro Hero 9 I think that'll be really cool especially with the max mod but for now this little setup works just great I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions about what's in the bag or if you have any ideas of organization or what you think I could improve in my bag what do I need to add to take it to the next level let me know in the comments thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon hopefully for another street photography video and then some more outdoor stuff coming up in the coming weeks thanks for tuning in if you like the channel give me a subscribe and we'll see you again